Hello! Welcome to this very special Craft Stash Live broadcast. I'm Jeanette Lane, your crafty host, and usually for our Facebook Live broadcast, we are on Fridays at 1 p.m., but we have a special occasion today. Uh, today, Helen Colebrook is with us online. She's going to be in the chat answering your questions. We are so excited to celebrate the launch of her uh, everyday journaling essentials range. So you might be familiar with Helen. She is an expert journaler, she's a blogger, and also an author now with her brand new book coming out in October. We're so proud of you, uh, Helen. And you can find her on Instagram, on YouTube, and on her blog. It's uh, called uh, Journal With Purpose. And she has over 65,000 Instagram followers. She is amazing. So make sure to follow her. Say hello to Helen. Um, we have a great show planned for you today. We have some exclusive demonstrations from Helen coming up, showing you how to do like a weekly uh, layout on in your journal and also just journaling, beautiful journaling pages. So lots of gorgeous inspiration and tips that she's going to share with us. And we also have prizes to give away, lots of prizes, three prizes up for grabs. I will tell you how to enter that giveaway in just a bit. But let me just make sure that our broadcast is going well. There we are, hooray. Um, yeah, so say hello. Let us know where you're watching from. Um, we have some people watching. Hello, hello, Sharon Noble, hi. Janet Stansfield, Jill Fletcher. Jane Larson, Lisa Ann. Good evening, Shelly Yolden. Hi, I haven't seen you, seen you in a long time. Martha Sa Salas, Lynn Clifton, hello, hello. Jill Beatty. Jane Larson is watching from Denmark, amazing. All right, so we've got a great show planned. They make sure every, let me say hello to some people on YouTube. And if you are watching along, if you would be so kind as to tag your friends so that they can tune in, or also if you're allowed, you can share this broadcast in your crafty groups. That would be great. We have Patricia Ochoa on YouTube. Hello, Charlie P. Hi, Crafty Alley Creates. Hello, Heather Bewick. Bewick. Watching from Glasgow, Lake Grammy Phyllis Devine is watching from Arkansas. Hello! So happy to have some new names um, because of our different broadcast time. So Helen uh, is online with us, so make sure to say hello, ask her questions. Well, she couldn't be in the studio with us today because she is helping her daughter, Abby, move into uni. Uh, Abby is attending the University of West England in Bristol, and she's going to major in marketing and events management. So Helen had to be there, of course, for her daughter. But we have some of um, Helen's gorgeous journals, which let's show. Let's give everybody a taste of what Helen's journaling is all about. We can go to the top down. Thank you, Shauna. So here is one of Helen's journal, which she has, journals, which she has loaned to us. So being very um, careful with this because it's absolutely stunning. And if you are new to journaling, um, it's just a great way to document, you know, special occasions like birthdays and anniversaries and holidays, but also just the everyday. And that's really what Helen emphasizes is just reflecting on everyday moments, uh, finding, you know, maybe Maybe you think, oh, my life isn't that exciting. I don't have anything to journal or document, but you can just write, you know, uh, one of your, like a quote that you heard, or maybe you can write about like a funny conversation that you had with a friend. Really, I think that journaling is for everybody. And what's great is that with the everyday journal journaling collection, the essentials range from Helen, Colebrook is that now we can journal like Helen. So it's really exciting to have uh, stamps and papers and washies and dyes that will help us get that look like so we can, so we can journal beautiful things like Helen. Okay, I think everything's good. Everything is good. I hope you're all doing well. My comments have a kind of are lagging a little bit. Hmm. All right. I think I think we're good. Hey, there's Helen. Hello. She's saying hello to everybody. Hi, Helen. <laughs> 
So let's take a quick look at the everyday essentials, everyday journaling, sorry, essentials, um, essentials collection. And we'll do that from the top down, Shauna, one more time. Thank you so much to Shauna helping us behind the scenes. So Helen uh, previously launched a kind of like a wedding collection earlier this year. You might have seen it on Craft Stash. And that's here. So we have this. This was from her first launch. So the wedding stamps, wedding words, some little love sentiments, doodles. And what's great about Helen's everyday journaling range is that these have all been designed by Helen. So hand lettered, hand lettered by Helen, all her doodles are now dies in stamps gorgeous. So that was the first collection. But then we have the everyday journaling range. So we have some floral essential dies, studying the everyday essentials dies. We have some stickers. We have some washi tape, gorgeous. And then we have all these gorgeous stamps, which are perfect for your planners and for your journals. And there's different sizes available. And there is a special offer going on right now at Craft Stash where you can get 10% off everyday journaling using the code EJ10. So Helen's uh, known for obviously her amazing journaling, but also her lettering is fantastic. It's I'm so happy that there's stamps now with her lettering that she's designed so that we can so I can use them in my journal. And speaking of lettering, also Hooray! Simply Lettering Issue 2 is now on sale. And I wanted to show you because maybe we should do the top down again, Shauna. Sorry. So we have, there it is, Issue 2. Uh, Simply Lettering is a brand new magazine all about uh, modern calligraphy. And Helen Colebrook is a contributor. And so we just wanted to um, just show you really quickly the second issue of Simply Lettering. So it comes with this chalk lettering pen set but there's also practice sheets and templates. So if you haven't subscribed or maybe you don't want to subscribe quite just yet and you want to check out uh, issue two, you can get that on Craft Stash. But look at that, you get those practice pages so that you can practice your lettering with the pens in the issue. Gorgeous, gorgeous things in this magazine. And I wanted to show you Helen in here. She's in here a few times actually. So there it is. There she is. So you can, like I mentioned, there is a discount for 10% off everyday journaling with the code EJ10, but there's also an additional 10% uh, off discount here off the journal essentials range. But also I wanted to show you one of um, Helen's features in here as well. There you are, Helen. You're everywhere. Amazing. We're so happy to have partnered with Helen to bring you, um, to bring the everyday journaling collection to life. So let's see what our time is. Let's see some comments. <clears throat> Joe Fletcher says, oh great, issue two, whoop whoop. <laughs> um, Sarah Louise Talek says, those journal packs look so beautiful. Lily, 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 oh, sorry, Lily Newsom says, this would be lovely to use to make a journal for my wedding next week to keep the memories forever. That's right. Lily's getting married next week. Hooray. Okay. So we've got simply lettering. Oh, there's also a, a, another offer, guys. Don't want to forget that one. So if you buy the simply lettering issue two, you can get a 20% off discount off everyday journaling with the code SL20. So make sure to take advantage of those amazing discount codes. All right. So we want to make sure that we uh, jump into those um, demonstrations, exclusive demonstrations from Helen. But before we go there, before we, before we jump into that, I wanted to share what the giveaway is and how you can enter the giveaway. So we're giving away three prize bundles. So it's going to be, first prize is going to be an everyday journaling uh, stamps. Everyday journaling stamps. So we have these stamps here are going to be the first prize. Sorry, top down.
Oh no, <laughs> sorry. So there are uh, 40 pieces in the ephemera set that comes with the papers. And it's printed on vellum and then also printed on white. So that's everything that you get in there. Oh, okay. So let me recap the prizes one more time in case you missed that. Our audio just went out for a second. Not sure why, sorry about that. So the first prize again is going to be these stamps these beautiful stamps these from her uh, from Helen's first release and then the essentials these ones are from the second release so one of the prize bundles hooray second prize is going to be the dice a little die bundle here up for grabs so many dies amazing and then the last the last prize bundle up for grabs is going to be the washi tapes the uh, stickers and the ephemera and the papers and i was just showing you the ephemera so that you can marvel at all those pieces in there amazing so 40 pieces of ephemera printed on vellum so beautiful now to enter the giveaway all you have to do is answer the question in the comments what are what key or other important occasions do you like to journal or document so obviously there's like birthdays and Christmas, but what other occasions or like special occasions or key moments in your life do you like to document? So answer the question and then we will announce the winners at the very end of the show. We're gonna jump into the first demonstration from Helen, thank you so much. In this demonstration, I'm setting up my weekly planner pages. And I'm starting off by adding two strips of washi tape down the right hand side. Adding washi tape is definitely one of my favourite quick ways to decorate my journal pages. So I'm now adding a strip along the top and a piece across the middle of the page. And I'm adding September from the sticker pack to the top. The next thing I'm going to do is tear out some more strips of washi tape. And I'm going to place those in all of the spaces where I'll be adding the days of the week. I really like the effect of having washi tape underneath and stickers on top, as it really makes those stickers stand out on your page. This range of products has been designed to ensure that you've got all of the functional elements you need, along with lots of beautiful decorations. So it enables you to quickly set up really beautiful journal pages, but also provide you with everything you need for either your planner or bullet journal at the same time. And I'm now just adding those days of the week stickers on top of the strips of washi tape. Once I finished adding the days of the week, I decided to stick on some of the floral stickers and they're from the same sticker pack and they tie in and match really nicely with the washi tape. The next thing I decide to do is add some stamps from the icons and header stamp set. And these are designed to give you a quick visual of anything you've got coming up that week. And I really like to add these because when you look at your planner, if you've got lots of tasks and events, being able to see some quick icons really helps you to remember the key things you've got going on. So I've added a paw print, a shopping trolley and also a journal. So the next thing I'm doing is using a black gel pen to write down some of the tasks that I've got coming up each day of that week. And I'm also using a Tombow Fudunosuke brush pen to letter in the words travelling. I like to mix up my font styles again because it gives you a really good quick visual of anything that you have planned for that week. With most of my tasks now written down, I decide to add some more stickers in the blank spaces on the left hand page. And of course it's not essential to decorate your planners, but I do find it encourages me to come back to it time and time again. I'm now adding a location stamp with the destination of where I'll be travelling to. 
Next up, I'm adding a die cut from the Floral Essentials die set. And whilst this would be absolutely great as a photo frame, I've decided to add a sticker saying, don't forget. And I'm then going to write down inside there some of the key things I need to bear in mind during that week. With that done, I decide to add some more die cuts from the same range. And these have been cut out using the paper in the paper and ephemera pack. For the large blank space on the right page, I decide to add the yellow sheet of paper with the daisies on it from the paper pack. And that ties in so beautifully with the washi tape that I've added. Once I've stuck that down, I decide to add a few more strips of washi tape. And I love just tearing up strips in different sizes and in different directions to add a bit of a design element. The final thing I decide to do with these pages is add a border from the activity log stamps. And I'll be stamping that down using yellow ink and then also stamping in the word reading so that I can jot down the book that I currently have on the go. So that is now my planner pages all set up for the week and I really hope you've enjoyed seeing this quick and simple process in setting them up. In this tutorial, I'm going to be setting up a new cover page in my bullet journal for September. So I've started off by using a compass and very lightly drew out a circle on my page. For this entire page, I will be using stamps from the Cover Creator stamp set. And I'm picking different florals and leaves and stamping them just along where the pencil circle is. So with some of my flowers in place, I'm adding leaves on either side of them. And some of the leaves will come inside the wreath and some will come on the outside. And this stamp set is designed for you to be able to really quickly create beautiful floral wreaths as a cover page for the new month. And you can pick different designs each time you create one. With those added, I'm now picking a different flower and I'm going to stamp that in each of the gaps along the circle. Once the stamping is complete, I use a black pigment liner and I'm drawing two wiggly lines in between each of the stamped images. And this really helps to give some shape to your floral wreath. And I'm creating an open wreath, which is why I have that gap at the top left hand corner. So I'll just have two wiggly lines that don't meet. And I'm really happy with how that's looking and how quick and easy it was to create. For colour, I'm using some chameleon pencils. And because I'm still hanging on to the last hopes for some summer, I decided to pick some lovely summer kinds of colours. But I also think this would look great if you picked oranges and browns and you could create a really beautiful autumn coloured wreath. I love to create a new cover page every month in my bullet journal because each month feels like a new chapter to me and I really like to set the theme and I can then either carry the same floral theme through for the rest of the month or I might decide to just stick with the same colour palette so that all of my pages look cohesive and it's just a really nice way to start your bullet journal off each month. I had so much fun designing this stamp range and I hope that it enables you to create some really beautiful cover pages in your own journal. And the final thing I'm going to add to these pages is stamp the word September in the middle of the floral wreath. So that is now my cover page all completed. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing this setup and are excited to have a go too.
In this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you how I set up my weekly layout in my bullet journal. I've counted 12 dots along so that my columns are 12 dots wide and that enables you to fit two columns really nicely on an A5 page. And the first box I've created will be for my events and tasks and deadlines for that week that are date specific. So I'm breaking the column up into seven boxes for each day of the week and also room for the header too. One of the things I love about keeping a bullet journal is that you can design your own layouts to make sure that they really work for you. And this is a layout I've been using for quite a long time now, so I know that it meets all of my needs. And as I set the page up, I'll be telling you what each of those boxes are going to be used for. And I just freehand my boxes, but you could, of course, use a ruler. With the main layout now complete, I'm going to start adding decoration. So I'm starting off with these washi tape strips, which are designed to perfectly fit along the top of an A5 size notebook. I'm now stamping the word September onto one of the die cuts from the Floral Essentials die set. And I'm adding some further details to that box, which will be my Healthy Habits Tracker. I'm using some stickers from the sticker pack to add Don't Forget, Goals, To Do, Review and Focus. And this helps me remember what I'm going to use each of the boxes for. And in that left hand box, I'm adding each of the days of the week. And in my focus healthy habits box, I decide to track things like exercise, meditation, water and healthy eating. Something I like to do with my boxes is add a kind of drop shadow and I'm using a Tombow ABT brush pen for this. I'm sticking down that September heading on top of the washi tape. For extra decoration, I'm using some of the floral and leaf stickers from the sticker pack. And I like to balance out my bullet journal pages so that they look the same on both sides. And it's a really nice, quick and easy way to add some decoration to your journal pages. The final thing I'm going to add is some die cuts from the Everyday Essentials die set. And I'm just sticking those down inside the boxes. So that is now my weekly layout all completed inside my bullet journal. What on my face? Oh. Hello again. Hi. <laughs> Hope that you enjoyed that gorgeous demonstration from Helen and that you were inspired. I just wanted to recap the products that she used, the items that she used in her layouts. Just one more time to refresh your memory. So she used the washi strips, which are beautiful. Of course, you get, I think it's 10 sheets of these gorgeous designs. And then you have the stickers. I think there's a hundred stickers in that. She used the beautiful stamps, the covered creator stamps to create that gorgeous wreath the activity log stamps, the floral essentials die set, which is I think my favorite die set in the collection, the icon and header stamps, and of course the gorgeous um, papers and ephemera from her um, collection as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And of course there are discounts right now on special offers on craft stash. You can get 10% off everyday journaling using the code EJ10. But also if you buy Simply lettering issue two, you can get, um, is that 20% off? 20% off everyday journaling using the code SL20. Amazing. All right, so, and I also want to uh, mention the giveaway prizes again, in case you missed it the first time around. So we have three prize bundles up for grabs. So the first bundle is a little stamp bundle, hooray. So you're gonna get the love words, um, love words and doodle stamp set, the wedding words, the icons and header stamps, and the activity log stamps. 
Our second winner is going to get a little everyday journaling die bundle. So you're gonna get the wedding planner die set, the journal essentials die set, which Helen is going to use in the next demonstration, the wedding words, which these are hand lettered by Helen Gorgeous Designs, um, the wedding words die set and the floral essentials die set. And the third prize is going to be the accessories bundle. So you get the A5 size papers. These are beautiful. Love these. Gorgeous. A5 size. Beautiful colors, beautiful designs. You can get the stickers, the washi, and then of course the ephemera that comes in the set. Gorgeous. So excited for the winners. And to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is answer the question. Um, what other, what are key or other important occasions that you like to journal or document? So make sure to answer the question to be entered into the giveaway. And now we have one more demonstration from Helen. In this tutorial, I'll be sharing with you how I set up some journal pages. And this is a standard size blank traveler's notebook insert. So the first thing I'm doing is using some washi tape strips and I like to tear the edges to give them that lovely vintage look. I've used one of the thick pink strips and then I'm adding one of the thin green washi strips too. If you suffer from the fear of a blank page when you're setting up your journal pages, I highly recommend adding some washi tape. It adds a lovely frame and quickly gets you started on your journal pages. Now that the washi tape is down, I'm just deciding where to add this ephemera from the paper and ephemera pack. And I'm adding some floral stickers in the bottom right hand corner. This whole range is designed to complement each other really beautifully. I'm going to stick two die cuts onto my page. The first one is from the Journal Essentials die set and the second is from the Everyday Essentials die set. And I'm also adding a sticker that says Grateful For. And I like to overlap stickers with ephemera and washi tape because it helps everything to look like it belongs on your page. Once the die cuts are stuck down, I decide to add some more floral stickers to the bottom of the left hand page. And I find that this really helps to balance out the pages and make them look pleasing to the eye. I love the combination of writing in my journals and adding all of the creative elements. I just find it so relaxing and you can create pages which are so beautiful to look back through. I'm now using a Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen to start writing down some of the things I'm really grateful to have in my life. Writing down things that I'm grateful for is one of my favourite things to do in my journal. Particularly if I'm having a bad day, taking the time to sit and write about all of the good things really helps to lift my mood. And also reading back through them again makes me feel really happy and it's a lovely reminder. Journals are a great place to try out your different lettering skills and different font styles. And even if all of your pages aren't perfect, I think that tells its own story. When I look back through my journals from a couple of years ago, my writing style was so different and I really love to see how my writings progressed. One of the key things I get asked about is what sorts of things to write about in a journal. And they're a great place to document special days out and birthdays, holidays, but I like to write in mine every day. So in the evening, I'll sit with my journal on my lap just for a little while to write down about anything that's happened, how I'm feeling, perhaps foods that I'm really enjoying eating or books that I've got on the go. And over time, they come together to tell a really lovely story and become a proper keepsake. 
I also find keeping a journal really relaxing and also somewhere to vent if I need to. And it's also a great place to try out new creative skills. I'm now adding a don't forget sticker on top of that die cut and I'm going to write a few notes to myself. Little reminders like making sure that I get fresh air and get outside every day and that I take time for myself and continue working towards finding balance in my life. And that pure act of writing those things down helps to calm me and think about how I want to spend the next day and how I can plan things out a little better. Since I've been keeping a journal every day, I found that it's been so beneficial for me. I definitely think I have a better outlook on life and I'm much more positive. And keeping a gratitude journal encourages you to look out for those good things in life. I'm always really busy with work and other commitments, but I make sure that this is a part of my routine every evening. And just taking those few minutes really helps me to calm down. The final thing I'm doing on my journal is I'm drawing a border around the outside of the page. So it's just two wiggly lines and I really think it helps to create a lovely frame and make those journal pages look complete. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing how I created these pages in my journal. In this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing a completely different way of recording things that you're grateful for. I've decided to add some brown washi tape onto my page first, and I'm then going to use some of the yellow strips on top. And combining different colours can really help to give your journal pages a completely different feel. It's always worth playing around with different colour combinations and layering washi tape strips until you find something that you really like the look of. And I tend to change those colour combinations as we move through the seasons. The next thing I'm going to do is create a pocket for my page. And I cut this out using a die from the Journal Essentials die set. And I'm going to use a bone folder to make sure that those creases are really nicely formed. I cut this out using paper from the paper and ephemera pack. I love using pockets in my journals. It's a great place to stick in tickets, photos, dried flowers or anything that you might find on days out. And now that that's all folded, I'm going to stick that onto my page. I will share with you later on in this video how I'm going to be using this pocket. Once that's all stuck down, the next thing I'm going to do is add some more strips of that lovely yellow washi tape. And I'm going to add that at the bottom and top of my journal pages. The next thing I'm going to do is create a label for my pocket and I've cut out two strips of paper using the Floral Essentials die set and I've cut these out of old pieces of paper and a book page. And I'm going to layer those and stick them together and then I will add a sticker on top that says grateful for. I love having interactive elements in my journals, so anything like pockets or tipping cards. If things can move and be added to, I just think they're a really fun element to include. I'm really happy with how that's looking. I like the combination of the different papers. And later on in the video, I will be adding those two tags into the pocket. I'm now looking through the vellum pieces that are included in the ephemera pack and I absolutely love these. I decided to sort them out into their different colour categories and that makes it easier for me to pick and choose the ones that I want to use in this journal. 
I think there's such a lovely selection of pieces and I always enjoy adding vellum in my journal. I really like the fact that you can see through it if you've got other designs behind it and it's also nice and thin on your journal page. So I'm going to stick that down and it's going to be just inside the pocket so that it's peeping out of the top. Once that's added, I'm going to stick down some of the die cuts from the Floral Essentials die set. And I've picked these lovely daisy flowers and I've cut them out of some different pieces of paper. And I'm going to layer them on top of each other in that bottom left hand corner. And it's really subtle but gives a lovely look on the journal page. I've really enjoyed mixing up the papers that I've used, so using some from the paper pack in this range and also some from old book pages. It can give you a really lovely vintagey style look and it means you're creating completely unique journal pages. Once I'm happy that everything is securely stuck down to my page, I move on to creating what I call a hero image for my page. So I'm going to sketch out a very loose, large daisy onto my journal. And that will tie in really nicely with the washi tape and papers that I've used. And creating a big element on your page is a really fun thing to do and it makes your pages stand out really nicely. So I've got the big flower head and then I've just sketched out a stem going down to the bottom of the page. And to add colour I'm going to use some watercolour paints. I'm going to pick really soft muted colours for this painting so that it ties in with the colours I've used on the rest of the page. Now this journal doesn't have watercolour paper so it is going to crinkle but I really like that look, it doesn't bother me at all. And once it's dried it will certainly flatten down quite a lot. So I've started off by adding some yellow paint and then dropped some brown paint on top of it whilst it was still wet. And I then did dry off that centre of the flower before going ahead and adding paint to the petals. So I've created quite a wet wash using a very subtle gold colour type paint. And I'm applying a thin layer all the way around. And whilst it's still wet, I go ahead and drop some more of the paint on top so that you've got darker colour for the details. And that really gives a lovely effect to the petals of the flower. I'm definitely no expert at watercolour, but I love playing around with it in my journal. I use my journal as a place to try out all sorts of different creative techniques and skills. And as long as it's representing roughly something like that I wanted, I'm completely happy. So the final thing that I'm doing is adding some green paint to the stem. And again, I'm keeping it really soft, subtle and muted colours. So I'm really happy with how my daisy is now looking and I think it ties in really lovely with all of the papers, washi tape and ephemera. So I then dried off that painting before moving on to the next stage. And I've used a Staedtler black pigment liner to add some detail to the flower to help it stand out. If I was doing a theme with brighter colours, I might just have left it with the pencil sketch. But with softer colours, it really helps it to stand out if you add that loose pen outline. So I'm not going for anything like perfection here. I'm just loosely tracing around the details of where the petals are. I think the contrast of the soft watercolour paint works really nicely with the black ink and it's definitely making that flower stand out much more now. Once I've finished adding the black outline, I use one of the die cut strips of paper and a sticker to add the header September to the top of my page. And I always like to date my journal entries so that when I'm reading back through them, I can tie them in to certain periods of time. 
And you can start to see now how different this journal page looks to the last one. So even though I'm using products from the same range, just by tying them in with other different colours and picking a different colour scheme can really make a big difference to how your page looks. So the next thing I'm doing is writing out a quote on my right hand page and it reads every flower blooms in its own time. And a journal is a great place to write down some of your favourite quotes or even lyrics from songs that you love. My journal is full of quotes, so if I see any on Pinterest that I really like or on somebody else's journal pages, I jot them down so that I've got just the right quote for the journal page I'm creating at the time. The next thing I'm going to do is move on to those tags. So I've added a daisy sticker to the plainer looking tag. And I'm then going to jot down on both of those some things that I'm grateful for. So this is another lovely way of keeping a gratitude journal and just adding little tags into those pockets on your page. And I know that I'll really enjoy at a later date going back through these pages and pulling the tags out to read what I've written today. And the tags have holes in the top, so you could, of course, add some string or twine to decorate your tags further. So I've now popped those in the pocket and I will start moving on to adding some more writing. And I often like to turn my journal pages around and write in a different direction. I think it gives a really interesting look and feel to your journal pages. So I'm just writing down things that are going on in my life at the moment, how I'm feeling about things and just really anything that springs to mind. Once my journal writing is all complete, I decide to add just one last element to my pages. So I'm getting the watercolours back out and I'm going to add some really fun watercolour splashes onto my page. So I'm mixing up some of that yellow that I used in the centre of the daisy and making sure that it's nice and wet. And I'm using some old paper just to mask off areas that I don't want the paint to land. And it's such a fun way to add a little bit of colour to some of the white space left over in your journal. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing how I've used this new product range in my journals. I'm so happy with this whole range and the pages I've been able to create with them. And I would of course love to see some of your own journal pages created. Thank you so much for that amazing demonstration, Helen. We are all so inspired. There was a comment from Amber Wong who said, raise your hand if you're gonna go like journal right now, go home and journal. <laughs> That's me. That's the first thing I'm gonna do when I get home after I eat dinner is to journal. I'm so inspired and I just wanted to recap uh, the items that Helen used in her demonstration. So she used the journal essentials die set, beautiful. Now the everyday uh, journaling dies, they start at $12.99. So make sure to head to the Craft Stash website and take advantage of the 10% um, off everyday journaling using the code EJ10. And then she used the everyday essentials die set. She used the beautiful stickers, 100 stickers in here. And the washi tapes, the beautiful papers, mm, gorgeous. And of course the ephemera. Mm, I love that. So, so pretty. Um, and don't forget that along with the EJ10 discount, you can buy simply lettering issue two and get 20% off everyday journaling with the code SL20. But this needs to be in your basket as well to make sure that discount code works. Exciting times. I hope that you enjoyed that. Thank you so much, Helen, for preparing those, um, those gorgeous demonstrations for us. We learned so much. We were all very inspired. And I wanted to um, show you, um, this is 
the journal. Hello, let us borrow it. Thank you. This is the journal from her first demonstration. Beautiful. It's so pretty. And then here's another gorgeous. Her writing is so nice. Her hand lettering is gorgeous. And what I love about the everyday journaling stamps is that now we can have her gorgeous writing in our journals. So amazing, amazing. And then there is this one as well, that layout. But I also wanted to quickly show you before we announce our winners, what, what else you can do with these amazing essentials, um, everyday journaling essentials, die sets and stamps and the papers. So this is just an easy little layout. There's a little pocket that Helen was showing as well. You can put like, um, tram tickets or train tickets, photographs, little uh, receipts, that sort of thing. So there's so much that you can do with these die sets. They're really versatile. Um, you can decorate your journal pages and everything will coordinate with the collection, which is always really nice that, you know, the stamps, the papers and the washi tape all coordinate. And you know what? They're not just for your planners. Um, sorry, they're not just for journaling or planners. You could also do a little bit of um, scrapbooking or also cards as well if you like to make uh, your own handmade cards. So these are using the stamps from her first collection. Sorry, let me show this one. That's the every using the papers, the uh, ephemera, the washi tape, and the journal essentials die set. So I hope that you're inspired. Maybe, maybe you haven't tried journaling. Maybe you're inspired. This collection is perfect for beginners. You have everything that you need to get started. And then let me just quickly show you some of these cards. Sorry, just to show them here. <laughs> I was gonna tell you, can I get them on the close-up, Shauna? But no. So there's one. So cute using the essentials die set. This is the coffee cup clip, but you can just trim that off and make a card. That's from the Floral Essentials set. So a very versatile collection. Helen has brought us so amazing. And all uh, are, they've been, all the designs have been illustrated and hand lettered and doodled by Helen herself. So that is the best part. All right, so it is time for, I think it's time for our announcing our winners. Shauna, are we good? Not forgetting anything? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> so, time for the winners. They have been sent to me. Okay. Now, let's get the prizes back out. So, we've got the stamps, the everyday journaling little stamp bundle. We have the everyday journaling die set bundle. And we also have the everyday journaling accessories pack. Let me make sure I write these winners down. I don't forget who gets what. <laughs> if you are a winner, you can send us a uh, Facebook private message uh, telling us your mailing information, or you can email me, Jeanette, at craftstash.co.uk so that I can get your mailing details to the right person. Uh, and again, you spell that J-A-N-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, Jeanette, at craftstash.co.uk. And I just want to thank everybody for tuning in. Our normal broadcast time is Fridays at 1 p.m. And we will be here uh, this Friday at 1 p.m. with uh, Kathy Andronicu from Chameleon. So hopefully we see everybody that we saw today. We see them on Friday. All right. So our first winner, drum roll, of the stamp bundle, Everyday Journal Stamp Bundle, is Kim Hook. Uh, she says she watches lots of videos and she likes to journal her takeaways from them. So uh, she's like, it's not an important occasion, but a useful one. So she likes, she would like to have, um, that's what she likes to journal is when she watches videos, what, writing down like their tips probably. That's a great idea. Kim Hook, congratulations. What a great idea. Um, stamps. Sorry guys. All right, and the second winner of the dies. There's one more die in here that I cannot find. Oh, it's over here. So you get the Everyday Journal dice, Die Bundle. And that is Karen Hartley. 
says she loves journaling day out with her son, milestones um, in their lives and develop development. Okay. Thank you for that, Karen Hartley. And congratulations on winning the die bundle. And then our last prize is the accessories pack. So you're gonna get the paper, the ephemera, the stickers, the washi. That gorgeous ephemera in the vellum is stunning. And our winner for that is Jennifer Trigg. And she says uh, milestones for her baby girls are really important for her to journal and also especially, oh, sorry, special family days. So congratulations to the winners. Amazing. I hope that you enjoyed this special broadcast. Thank you to Helen Colebrook for the amazing demonstrations, the amazing products, but also for being on with us and answering your questions. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys Friday at 1 p.m. Bye.